here in Texas. We celebrate the 12U championship of the National All-State Select Championship Gathering. Hi there, folks. My name is Darren Sutton. Really glad to have you with us. This Carolina team against this South Texas team. Here's when they moved into elimination play, what occurred. You need to know this, that both Carolina and South Texas, including their pool play games, are both a perfect 6-0 and coming into this event. And now you can make it 7-0. and As a matter of fact, you hope one of these will leave when it is all said and done. Our production team excited to bring it all to you. Calvin Maiden Spocker is the left-handed pitcher. He gets loose on the mound. An outfielder as well. Calvin goes to work. This left-hander has played in two dozen perfect game events. 32 innings of work. 64 strikeouts. That's who he is as an athlete, certainly. The lineup he will deal with of these talented 12U players on the other side from South Texas. We've seen a lot of these athletes do well at PG events. Caden Kennedy, Boston Targosh, Leland Hendry, Bowen Landry, Christian Cho, Maddox McBride, Kingston George, Gerardo Hurtado, Jean Carlos Nunez, James Pratt, and Cade Chapman on down. I should say Jean Carlos Nunez. Added a couple of extra, extra emphasis in there. Nunez is the man of the 2029, wearing 99 on the back of his jersey. So Kennedy and Targosh and Henry will hit right out of the gates to open things. This event, as we talked about, was born in 2021. And in its infancy, 12 different states were represented. Now we're seeing at the 12 and 14 U age group, 25 teams and regions represented. And it's just been such an incredible celebration of great baseball a team representation but an all-star type gathering Caden Kennedy leads it off let's play this thing let's play the 12U title game an 11U select festival player as he takes low 1-0 and the count 12 and a half years old this talented athlete from Gilmer Texas has played in no less than 40 perfect game events right-handed bat hits it high in the sky up towards those lights, and that one will disappear out of play. Caden in this event has 10, count them, 10 hits. He's also walked two times. That's a 765 on base in this event. It has been an incredible journey for him. Scored three runs in the previous semifinal game. As a matter of fact, today has a pair of hits, four runs scored, and a walk. And he also homered against Northeast a couple of days ago. Gold Culture is his travel team as he comes up empty. They pop a tag down on him just in case. Just got a piece of that one. And that Gold Culture team, a, a talented group. He is heavily decorated all-tournament team member multiple times throughout the summertime, all the way back to May, playing for Gold Culture. As that one is chopped foul off the bat of Caden. Even back in April at the 11U Super Regional NIT. At Beaumont, Texas, he was an all-tournament team member, really played well. As he swings over the top of that one. Nice job. Mason Devine behind the plate keeps it in front. Caden goes down on strikes, and we're officially underway now that we have a scorebook. Good tilt to that one as it skipped in there. Everything right now, 73, 74 miles an hour, but with a lot of light. Here's Boston Targosh, another 11U Select Festival player. This lineup is loaded. Plays for the Bandidos de Leon team. As he fouls that one off. 12 years and four months old. Again, a similar perfect game journey to that of Kennedy. He has played a ton of PG events. And in this event, he's walked four times, has just one hit. It's a double. So with those four walks, has a 462 on base as that downward diving fastball is swung right through. 0-2 the count. Actually spun him a breaking ball that time, 10 miles an hour slower. Then goes with a fastball elevated. Fastball, curveball, fastball, strike three. And Kargosh has to deal with some talented stuff right out of the gates. Big Leland Henry now and his power with a chance. A third successive select festival athlete in a row in this lineup. Henry is another one. We saw him 
put up big numbers. You've probably seen him on social media, rounding the bases with a thundering bat already in this event. He homered earlier today against Louisiana. Has a pair of long balls in this event. He's got five hits. He's got five walks. That means the on-base percentage for Leland is 688. And for that Banditos team. Coach Ray DeLeon, the legendary travel coach, as he takes up and away. He's also played for Elite RBI National, too. He's the MVP of a 14U Super NIT warm-up. Right around October the 1st in Houston. Good fastball hits the outside corner. Curveball is landing at about 64 miles an hour. Fastball 73, 74, up to 75 miles an hour from the left hand of Caden Maidenspacher. As that one is low. Calvin, I should say. Mikel Jimenez for the East Coast squad. We're talking about these two home runs for Henry as he swings right through it. Calvin strikes out the side to start things for Carolina, the 12U championship game of the National All-State Select is up and running. And Calvin makes a statement. Momentum. of the order and a lot of good athletes we want to introduce you to more select festival athletes along the way Aiden Ace Gonzalez is the pitcher Aiden takes the rock and he rolls he's from Robstown Texas sticks banditos 12 U black his travel team 12 years and four months old and he has been to no less than 50 perfect game events now as a pitcher at PG events it's 36 total innings this year and it's 69 strikeouts in his career it's 75 perfect game innings of work and 120 strikeouts so he has missed a bunch and i mean a bunch of bats he's a good hitter too raylan hunter will start things though south carolina native pacolet south carolina just turned 12 years old not too long ago right-handed thrower left-handed bat He's played in a dozen PG events, and we're excited to see him go to work. He's representing the Kane Select with that helmet on as he gets ready to go for yes, Carolina as the first pitch is a fastball, and it's hey, called strike go, one. It's been a good tournament for Hunter, to say the least. The man who stands four foot nine inches tall has ten hits. He's got three walks. He's done a lot of that as that one is down the line and just foul would have been extra bases. Yes, amongst those ten hits, Two doubles and a triple. Look at him. He waits for this to travel and lashes it the other way. Just to the other side past Christian Cho on the third base bag. Raylan again goes that way. A pair of three hit games back to back last night and then this morning against Alabama and then East Coast. Hey, by the way, not only has he gotten on, he's got nine nine stolen bases does Raylan Hunter in this event. Hunter fouls that one off. You can already see the tough at bat that he is. Good contact along the way. Good speed. Fearless to let it travel deep in his stance. Mom is Ashley Eason. Had a chance to put on that USA Baseball 12U national team jersey as well. And time is called. Celebrate a birthday every year on June 21st. Ah, he lifts that one down the left field line, and we'll do it one more time. Oh, hitters like this are just no fun to deal with, are they? He's been heavily decorated two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven times. He's been an all-tournament team member. 
Won a pair of championships this year with the Kane Select teams. Fights that one off toward the left side. Driven toward the wall. He is on the move. Watch him roll. Touches first, then touching second. An aggressive turn. A leadoff double. That ball carried. For letting it travel and go the other way, there is Raylan Hunter one more time. 11 hits now in this tournament. James Pratt unable to make the play out there. He went back, he went back, it kept sailing. Really good power. And Spocker, the pitcher. Waves right through that first one. Another Kane select team member. We saw him pitch. We'll see him pitch some more. But he also plays first base outfield if needed. There's an RBI chance waiting out there for him. Maiden Spocker. The son of Brad and Jennifer. Rolls that one foul. Lee Land, his travel coach with that Canes team. Mom went to NC State. Dad, baseball player in his past as well. That pitch sails outside. Fastball velo wise, we're seeing the low 70s at this point, touching 73 miles an hour. That one is high and inside, spins him out of there. Two strikes on the batter, though, and he has run the count full. Runner at second, just getting rolling. Fastball inside, that's ball four, so Calvin. Struck out the side as a pitcher, draws the walk as a hitter. With a couple of runners on out front, another select festival athlete. We reintroduce you to 11U select festival talent, Walker McCrory. Another Kane select team member from Spartansburg, South Carolina. Walker comes up empty with that swing from the right side. He has enjoyed a good event. His team, obviously, a perfect event. McCrory, he's got eight hits. He's got three home runs. Thirteen runs batted in. Runner goes, hit hard, left side. That one slips right on through. Great jump by Raymond Hunter. He scores easily. A single and an RBI for Walker. That is 14 runs batted in in this tournament. Just his seventh game. Such a nice, smooth approach. Runner was going out front of him. Didn't phase him at all. Talk about a table setter for Raylan Hunter. Landon Davis was an 11U Select Festival competitor out of Beaufort, South Carolina. Davis, the EH in this one, extra hitter. He's a catcher, first baseman. Can play third as well, work on the mound if needed. ZT Prime, Lujan, one of the travel teams he has put on. He has played in about five dozen PG events. He's another one that has had an incredible tournament. Ten hits, nine RBIs, three walks. That's an on-base percentage of 813 when you're playing against your best colleagues in the country at your own age group. So Landon Davis has really showed out. Swing and a miss, good breaking ball. Didn't want to, but he did. Big first out there, he needed that one. Went right over the top of it. So Davis has followed up now with a chance for Mason Devine. Right down the middle, belt high. Devine takes a look at that one. Seeing the fastball jump a little bit up to the high 70s now.
when the breaking ball dives low, we're seeing breaking balls in the 60s. Devine will be followed by Daniel Day, who waits on deck. Just one out, one in. As the breaking ball misses outside from Aiden Ace Gonzalez. This beautiful diamonds at Daly Park, such a great facility. We've really enjoyed our time here. Can't wait to next weekend. Devine, the catcher. Takes a pitch that hits the outside corner. He's from Raleigh, North Carolina. Kane's select athlete as well. Mason's got five hits. He's got a walk, a 429 on base at this event. But five of his hits, three of them have been homers. And one double. So that single feels all alone there. Five hits, four extra bases. Been a great tournament for Mason Devine, who can shrink the ballpark. We talk about three home runs. The high, Mikel Jimenez. Yes, did he? Looked like he did. He did. Out there at first base, Chris Humphreys, the umpire. He said, yep, he went around. After giving up that single run, back-to-back -back strikeouts, starting to settle down as ace. And Michael Jimenez for the East Coast roster had four home runs to lead all competitors. We'll see if Devine, McCrory, some of those hitters can add on to their totals with three to, to match Jimenez. Daniel Day from Clayton, North Carolina. Day takes low. Just past his 12th birthday for Day. Daniel two for seven at the event with four walks. That's an even 500 on base. Swings over the top of that diving fastball. By the way, Braden Williams out there running for Maiden Spocker, the pitcher. Got a strike in the upper tier of the strike zone. A couple of strikes on the batter now. He's trying to get back in the dugout as ace. Aiden Gonzalez. Let me get his South Texas team back to hitting. Day looks to add on. Keep me in the ball game. That's all we have. They had a four run lead last year. Daniel, the son of Darwin and Donna. Also plays basketball and plays it well. Hey, great job. Spoiled a good breaking ball. In the fall, as we head towards colder weather all around the country, what a wonderful way to celebrate baseball. Just southwest of Houston, Texas. Two consecutive weekends. Yes, Got him with a breaking ball and down on strikes goes day. So, both of these pitchers struck out every batter to put it out in the book. Six total strikeouts, but thanks to the speed and the aggressiveness of Raylan Hunter, Carolina grabbed the lead. We move along through one, the Carolina squad on top, and the 12U National All-State Select Championship. Mound, as we welcome you back, his first challenge. 11U Select Festival athlete, Bowen Landry, who swings right through the first one coming up empty. Bowen is from Houston, Texas, so he's home, not too far from here. 2030 grad. He has been an active and beyond active travel ball player. Playing in more than 80 PG events. Now in this event, he's got nine hits. He's got a pair of home runs and on base of 625. Good fastball, and he comes up with nothing to show for it. Hides the ball well, shows a good breaking ball. Living in the low to mid 70s from the left side at the 12 U age group. It's a swing and a miss. Every out has been a strikeout. Landry goes down here in the second inning. That is four strikeouts. You see Landry chase that one. We saw Christian show at the Select Festival. And 
and he grabs the bat, steps in, and he takes a strike over the outside corner. Furia Baseball National, his travel team. Nearly 12 years old, still not quite there yet. Christian rolls that one out to the left side. It's a foul ball. We'll do it again. Daniel Day came and gave it a look, just in case. Joe's got six hits. He's got a pair of walks. That's an on-base of 692 at this National All-State Championship. That's in his first six games. He also has a homer, a pair of doubles, and 11 RBIs. Fouled that one off at home plate. Looked like that. Unfortunately, got a piece of our home plate umpire. Bobby Zepeda's back behind the plate. Do we have catcher's interference? Was that the call there? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Not sure what we're doing here. We'll keep an eye out. We'll let you know what they decide. Possible catcher's interference. That was the discussion. And it looks like they'll bring him back. Let's see. Clearly catcher's interference. But after they discuss it, they opt to play on. That's just the... <laughs> That allows another strikeout to be put up there. That's five now. So a break that time for the Carolina team. He clipped that catcher's mitt that time. And then this is what we've seen a lot. Everything heavy, down, diving. So Cho goes down and Maddox McBride. Select festival competitor as well. Maddox comes up empty. Kingston George behind him at the select festival, too. There's seven to hit in this lineup. 11 new select athletes. Nice job bouncing that one in front. Mason Devine blocking it up. Mr. Maddox is from Tumbol, Texas. Mr. Maddox McBride, that is. 12 and a half years old. Takes a high fastball, not interested in that one. Seven hits, a home run, nine RBIs, three walks, a 714 on base percentage for Maddox in this, the All State Championships. Tap dances out of the way. Looks like an uncomfortable at bat, doesn't it, against Calvin? Works out of the stretch, so there's no concern. Just lifts the leg. Watch him turn, hide the ball. Now you see it, or now you don't, as he comes up empty. That almost had a defensive swing look to it on three and one. And these are some of the best hitters in the country at the 12U age group. Calvin right back to work with his team leading one to nothing. Swing and a miss. Six strikeouts. Six outs in the books. Calvin Maidenspock are off to a really, really strong start. Mowing down South Texas here at the 12U National All-State Select Championship. on your smart device, on your tablet, on your smart TV, 24-7, all the great live championships throughout the year. We will bring those to you and do so as we are tonight. But brand new shows all the time, college baseball shows, softball shows, amateur baseball shows, documentaries. We're constantly bringing you new content, going with more and more content. Certainly excited to Remind you, just go ahead and download the app. Go ahead and do it. I mean, you can find us on Roku and Vizio, soon to be Amazon Prime. There's a lot of great
Bowman after drawing the walk. Sawyer from Greenville, South Carolina. 12 years and about eight months old. Oliver Emmons Bowden right behind him. Swings at a fastball, will snap throw down to first. He's back there in time. Oliver from Loveland, Ohio joins this team, plays for that SBA Bolts national team. Just passed his 12th birthday. Played in 20 perfect game events. He's been pretty good in this one. Wings right through that one. He's got a triple, he's got a homer, has driven in four runs. A lot of all tournament team accolades through his time. Last couple of events he has seen that occur. Matter of fact, his last four tournaments in which he has played, PG events, he's been an all tournament team member. As he fights off the good pitch, it hangs up nicely for Kingston George, the center fielder. So Bowman heads back. And Oliver flies out to center field. Tied him up in the knuckle area. You could see it get tight. Here's O'Donnell now. With Cannon Tyler waiting on deck. O'Donnell's out of Blythewood, South Carolina. Flashes that one to the right side, shoots it into the hole, and it's a base hit. Scampering back to the bag after a big aggressive turn is Sawyer Bowman. That's nice for O'Donnell. So O'Donnell was just one for five in this event. There's his second hit. Boy, that was a good looking approach, too. Right there out of that nine spot. One is on first and second for Carolina. One out. Now Cannon Tyler, 0-1 the count on Cannon out of Holly Springs, North Carolina. Nearly 12 years old, still just shy. Active in that box as he wags back and forth and fouls it off. Tyler, one for two with a pair of walks. This is the fourth event which he has played, or I should say the fourth game in this event which he has played. What an honor to start this championship game. He fouls that one off, off to the right side. Cannon, Dad Scott. As that one misses outside. Maybe remember Scott Tyler played, played professional baseball for quite some time. 28, 28. That was a twin second round pick out of Downington High School in Downington, PA. Cannon goes down on strikes. That's for South Carolinian J.J. Nixon now. Two runners on. One to nothing the score, bottom half of the second inning. Nixon active, rolls that one foul, third base line. In Rosenberg, Texas, they're proud of their MLB alum that has come out of high school here at Lamar Consolidated High School. Randall Gritchett, he's a local. He grew up right here. Runner. Suburb of Houston, runner on the move, heading towards third. We've got a bag swiped. So your steals third, runners on first and third now. He was a high pick out of high school. First round pick in 09 by the Angels. Nice job. Kargosh blocking that one up. This man, J.J. Nixon, a 2029 from Anderson, South Carolina.
number of hits and eight at bats in this event. He's going to walk as well. He's pitched six and a third innings on the mound and struck out nine. This one driven toward left center field. Put away out there by Kingston George, the select best alum. So Nixon, the 11th batter, he ends the inning as we move along to the third. Carolina clinging to a one to nothing lead. 12U National All-State Select Championship. On the mound is this talented left-handed pitcher. Those numbers are hard to argue with. Every batter that he has faced has gone down via the strikeout. Not only that, it's all swinging. And it's just been a steady combination of cutting fastballs with pretty good life, good velo up to the mid-70s. And then downward tilting breaking balls about 10 miles an hour slower. It's been really good so far. He's got another handful of folks to deal with, though. Kingston George starts it off. The select festival athlete who is from Gunter, Texas. UB Braves Pemberton, his last travel team. And he hits the outside corner with a fastball and a strike. Up and away, pretty good pitch that time, just no offer at it. George, four hits, a walk, a 500 on base thus far at this event. He's homered. Swing and a miss, good fastball right by him, that's strike three. That is seven strikeouts now. Aiden Spocker just dominating stuff. Brad and Jennifer, his parents, was a biologist. Fastball over the outside corner. That is strike one. Gerardo Hurtado from Cypress, Texas. This is the 79th perfect game event and a good looking breaking ball. When you dial a hitter up with that fastball, if you throw that breaking ball anywhere near the plate, you're in great shape. He's got six hits, this hitter. He's got a walk. That's a 700 on base. That fastball just off the plate outside. Come on, Gordo. Swing and a miss on a breaking ball. Nice job keeping it with by Devine. He turns it into an out. That is eight strikeouts to open this. base he's got a pair of home runs he's only struck out twice at this event as that fastball gets the outside Why corner. Are you crying? Swing the bat. looking for nine strikeouts to open the game that one's low and inside teeth down toward the spikes Nunez is such a talented athlete last time out in Henderson, Nevada, at that 12 UPG Fall Super Regional NIT. He was an all tournament team member. He had eight hits. Had a pair of walks. Got on base 10 times in five games. Nunez, gifted. Swing and a miss at a fastball. Make it nine strikeouts. What a story being written by young Calvin Maidenspacher. Incredible stuff. Fastball, breaking ball, all with big impact. His team leads it one to nothing. Nine strikeouts.
feel like, I feel like, I feel like Mike, Jordan, give me the rock and I'm scoring. Hey, came from the bottom, that's scoring. I swear that I'm up for the sun in the morning. I told them this ain't a game. Landry, fastball, Cho, fastball, McBride, fastball, inner half, good tilt to it. Then it's select festival athlete, Kingston George. Then it's Hurtado, the left on left with a breaking ball, yikes. Then it's Nunez with an elevated fastball. Remember, the first seven hitters in the South Texas lineup were perfect game 11U select festival athletes. We welcome to the mound Gerardo Hurtado. Hurtado goes to work. We've already seen Gerardo hit. Now the left arm, the talented left arm, comes in from right field. And that one's lifted foul. Looks like the outfield now is James Pratt, Kingston George, and Bowen Landry out there in right field. Raylan Hunter, what a joy to watch him hit. Swings through that one. He doubled and then got a running start on an RBI single for Walker McCroy. And we've talked about Hunter, how he has just put together a crazy good event. Breaking ball, it's called strike three. Still a bunch of strikeouts on the other side as well. That's five total. Galvin Maiden Spocker, who is grabbing all the attention of everyone in attendance with nine strikeouts of the first nine batters he has faced, hits. He walked last time up, swings and he misses, comes up empty. We're in the bottom of the third inning. Carolina leads South Texas one to nothing in the 12U National All-State Select Championship game. Breaking ball, called a strike. Nine strikeout outing. But now he's a hitter. He's a hitter. He pops one up. Left side. Over, under, out for James Pratt, who makes the play for the second out of the inning. Uniforms have been so great at this event. Perfect game. Doing such a wonderful job for these athletes, representing their regions with their colors. Some of the uniforms, they've had different styles. Some with uh, multiple colors on the jersey, some with bars going up and down, some kind of the faux sleeveless. They've all had different looks and all sharp. That pitch is high. Walker McCroy, he singled in a run back in the first inning. Like we shared with you, 14 runs batted in in this event. Walker's been incredible. Takes a pitch from Hurtado over the inside corner. The Diamonds at Daly Park. In traffic, it probably would take you an hour to get to the Astros game from here. Minute Maid Park, it's about 45 miles. This all turf facility. A shining star. Here in what they used to call Mud Town. Rosenberg, Texas. from the Bezos River, which used to flood all the time. Dirt roads would turn to mud as he went around on that one. Hey, 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 so what? So what? All right, 
Lefty fastball, high 60s, has touched 70. Breaking ball, that's high. And so McCrory's been on twice. Mr. Walker has had a nice little run at it. Here's Landon Davis, select fest man. Struck out swinging back in the first inning. Dad wrestling in football at American Military University. His dad, Todd. We thank his dad, Todd, for his service. Retired member of the United States Marine Corps. Mom played softball, played it at Spartanburg Test. Peck, I should say. Played for the 11 and 12U prime teams. Coach Tony Lujan did Davis as he wags that bat. There you go. He takes a fastball. It splits the plate. Hey, hey. Hey, you're out. Doesn't matter now, but as the sun has gone down long ago, but there's such great shaded seating here at this gorgeous facility. Really have enjoyed spending the time here. Easy in and out from the airports in Houston. Very back of that batter's box, number 88, with the closed up stance. Watch him stop that bat. Get there! Get there. Get there. Get the end of the bat. High fly ball, leaving his feet, unable to make the play in center field is George. All the way around toward the plate with the slide and an extra add on run. Ball kicks loose in the third, just sticking with it the whole time is Davis. That one hung up for an awful long time. Thought it may end up landing in the glove of George, but it didn't. And because of that, Carolina adds another, and they lead it two to nothing. Simply put, Landon Davis is rewarded for contact. A double and an RBI as he moves over on the throw. How'd you stop? All right, Mason Devine, your opportunity now. He struck out back in the first inning, the catcher. Devine takes a fastball over the inside corner for a strike. Carolina two, South Texas nothing. Right down the middle, a couple of strikes back to back. Low 70s with those fastballs. Oh, what a breaking ball. A hammer that time. Wow. Good looking pitch. Late dive over the inner half for strike three. Carolina adds another, though. And at the 12U All State National Select Championship game, it's Carolina 2, South Texas 9. So if you're spending time with us tonight and you understand that pitchers are managed very carefully at this age group, I think you found yourself asking so does Calvin get to come back out and work some more? What has his workload been? As the talented left-hander Calvin Maidenspacher has struck out all nine batters that he has faced, and the answer is yes. His catcher Mason Devine has got to be having a lot of fun at this event. And again, it's been heavy fastballs with teeth, with good command. But then he'll elevate that fastball, works out of the stretch, and an effective breaking ball. James Pratt will take his run at it. James Pratt digs in, swings, and he misses over the top of it. Pratt will play anywhere on the field just past his 12th birthday. He's from Overton, Texas. Played more than 50 perfect game events, this 12-year-old. 0-2 oh, the count. Good two-seam sink to that one. Pratt has pitched four and a third inning, striking out five. He also has four hits and a walk, a 500 on base. As that one is low and inside. That's the thing, as these hitters all walk up and they deal with Calvin, they're all having big events. They're all select festival athletes, minus the last few. They're all getting on a bunch. 
But Mensbacher has just made short work of all of them. That's contact. That's a fly ball into center field. Easy chance for Raylan Hunter. The strikeout streak comes to an end. A fly ball out feels like a victory, I would imagine, here in the fourth inning. James Pratt makes contact and flies out to center field. <laughs> that was a nice run. He still has nine strikeouts, though, folks. Here's Kate Chapman. Kate from Porter, Texas. And that one is high. Kate, not quite 12 years old, 11 and a half. Come on, Kate, get on base. He's patiently worked himself on with three walks, is looking for his first hit of this event. He's been a pinch runner. He scored a run. Seven total plate appearances, but three walks. So an on-base of 444. Couple of strikes on him now. Chasing that tenth strikeout. That one's outside. ball and a foul ball so it takes a kick left. Good PK. He worked close. Let's go. Calvin pitched a couple of days ago just two innings. He didn't give up a hit and he struck out five. Take him up the middle, Kate. Up the middle. So that means we're at five and a third innings and 14 strikeouts. Popped up. Making a run at that first hit. It is not caught by Bowman. Hit or not, I don't know that it matters. It's a base runner. And they are really thirsting for one. And they've got one. Sawyer went back on it. I think he'll tell you. Could have caught that one for sure. Just didn't put it to bed. Popped up. Dropped that back shoulder and lifted it to the right side. Watch Sawyer. Now he does have Oliver coming in behind him. But in and out of his glove. And in the end, just couldn't make a play. Right back to work against Caden Kennedy. And he fires strike one to the select festival athlete. Dad is Randall, who played college baseball at Wiley College. Anjana and his mom ran track at Wiley College. Over the top of that one, that should advance the runner as that one skipped on by, and it does. Just a two to nothing game, and you've got a runner in scoring position. Kennedy plays for Gold Culture, his travel team. Vaughn Shapen, the coach of that one. Didn't mean to, but he stabs at it and fouls it off. Mom of Mr. Kennedy, a principal. Dad, an educator, and a coach. Looked like we definitely had a catcher's interference that time. Come on, guys, let's compete. That's exactly what it was. So Caden is on. Now, all of a sudden, different feel. You have all these strikeouts. And it's a crazy tally of strikeouts. You've got nine. But just one out in the inning and a chance to tie this game up. Let's see if we can take a peek at where he got the catchers made of Mason Devine. Oh, yeah, just got a piece of it there, Mason. Thinking, ouch, that hurt. Situation being addressed. I think the temptation comes in. All his pitchers out there. It's been many moons, but did the same thing at his age that Calvin did. If you're missing bats that much, the temptation, much like a home run hitter, the temptation is to do it more when really a nice lazy ground ball could get you back in the dugout. So you look for contact and not necessarily chase as he misses high. 
Austin Targosh struck out. As a matter of fact, when I do second time through for all these hitters until we get deep in the lineup, they all struck out first time through. As that fastball off the plate to Targosh. Boston four walks, one hit at this event. And then with a 462 on base, and it hangs right about that after striking out. He now walks. The bases are full. And they're full in front of the big dangerous slugger who with one swing of the bat can shrink any ballpark. Leland Henry's turn. Leland takes right down the middle for strike one. Homered earlier today. Prolific power at this 12U age group. Select Festival Slugger. Breaking ball. And looked like he didn't go around, held up. Base is loaded. Comes up empty that time. One skips by. Runners don't move. They think about it, then head back. Chapman leading the charge down third. Came a couple of steps, then thought otherwise. Fourth inning, title game. 12U National All State Select. That one is low. That's high, that's ball four, that's an RBI for Leland Hendry, the son of Leland Sr. and Courtney. And a run. And this game feels really different, all those strikeouts. Henry strikes fear into all who deal with him. Now, Bowen Landry right behind. Owen won the count. Landry struck out. As that one is low. Here's O'Connell moves into right field. Number three on that jersey. Swing and a miss, a couple of strikes on the batter now. Didn't get the call, just off the plate outside. did get the call. He was hitting right behind pumping that fist. A no couple of double pumps of that fist. 
And now a visit to the left-hander for the second out of the inning. He did get that call. Now that's 10 strikeouts now. Quite an outing. The left-hander struck out 10. Struck out 10 in three and two-thirds. Walker McCrory. Looks like Main Spocker is going to right field. With Oliver Emmons Bowden going to first. Joe took it on the belt. We got left. Races we the got first. That ties this game up. Certainly hasn't been a pretty way to do it, but you know what? It's been effective. A walk with an RBI, then a hit batter, and another run scores. We're tied at two. Top of the fourth inning. Fastball hits the outside corner, strike one for Maddox McBride. Come on, Maddox, get on the plate. Get on the plate, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Maddox rolls that one out left side. Play it out at third by Day, fires across the diamond, and in time for the out. Daniel Day makes the play, but not before. Things get a little bit sideways. You got a miscue. You've got a catcher's interference. You've got two walks and a hit batter. They did it all without a hit. But South Texas ties it up at two. Darren Sutton and our Perfect Game TV production team. Glad to have you back with us. We have locked this thing back up as we move along to the bottom of the fourth inning. Hurtado completing his warm-up toss as the talented left-hander. Maiden Spocker has gone from this game after striking out ten. And we just flat hit the reset button. There have been some great moments, but here we go with an entirely new ball game now. Carolina, their chance to swing it. We'll see how they handle it now that this game has taken on a different look. Daniel Day will start things. Sawyer Bowman will be next. Oliver Emmons Bowden right behind him. Hey, Jen, do the best thing right here. Offers it a pitch up in the zone. Oh, and won the count. A left on left matchup now. Hurtado, the big left hander. Fires that one that misses off the plate outside. 
This Carolina team undefeated. They got a bye, and the way they played in pool play, got a bye. And were able to play their way through a little bit later today, and then they beat East Coast 14 to 11 in a wild affair. They beat Pacific Northwest in that ball game, too, played really well, an 11 to 3 win dominating. And here they stand in the championship game now. The Diamonds at Daly Park for quite some time have been taking advantage of these really sharp lights, LED lights throughout this gorgeous complex. Lights it up like daytime as that one misses outside. Ball four allows you to get comfortable with the strike zone like they just did. And he is on with a walk. Sawyer Bowman now. Walked and was stranded back in the second inning. And number 10 looks at a pitch that sails high and away. We may have a visit as Sawyer, the son of Britt and Brittany. Parents' names, Britt and Brittany. Tato fist bumping all of his teammates. <laughs> Words of encouragement over. By the way, his dad, Britt, did play college baseball at Emanuel College. He's a doctor now. Mom, Brittany, went to Sanford as a nurse. Parents both in health care. Talking about the man with the bat in his hands. A soldier takes high. And his cuz, Jake Westbrook. You remember him? Played for the Guardians. Kane select player playing for Coach Andy King as he overswings that one and comes up empty. Emmons Bowden waits on deck. Pretty breaking ball, good take. That had to look tantalizing dropping in there. But he didn't bite. That's outside, that's ball four. Oliver Emmons Bowden fly to center field back in the second inning. Hey. We're close to the backstop. Do they have a play though? Not in time. Made it really close out there at third. Really, really close. It was played by Targosh off the backstop. Fired a strike to Cho who popped the tag down. Really good effort here. Wow, that was close. Steve Walters, the third base umpire, right on top of him making that call. Oliver, big RBI chance now. That one's outside. Dad, a really talented musician, his dad, Kevin Bowden, as now will make a pitching change, I would imagine. As 
Emmons Bowden has that conversation with his dad, the Cleveland Institute of Music, went to college, a great musician. And that will be all for Hurtado. Here, we'll pause for just a moment. South Texas and Carolina, the 12U National All-State Select Championship game. It's locked up at two. When you think about Adams, Adams from Giddings, Texas, primarily third baseman catcher, but also will work in the outfield and a right-handed pitcher as well. Brazos Valley Bucks, his team. Played in three dozen PG events. And Adams, to this point, has not pitched in this tournament. Has a couple of hits, three walks, a 625 on base. But now, his call to clean things up. A 2-0 count to Emmons Bowden. Talking about Oliver's dad, Kevin, and a really gifted musician as that one has popped up foul. We'll do it again. Hey, watch the body. Pokes that one to the right side. It hugs the line toward the corner. It goes hauled in by Bowen Landry out there. That will give his team the lead with the sacrifice fly. They come on down. Emmons Bowden with the sack fly to right field. Carolina's back on top, three to two. Landry hauled it in out there. That one's outside. To Pierce O'Donnell. Pierce from Blythewood, South Carolina. 17th PG event in which he has played as he comes up empty that time. Pitched an inning, struck out a pair. Got a couple of runs scored. Stolen base, a hit as well. His hit back in the second inning was his second hit of the event. He's got a runner at third and a chance to give his team another a little bit of piece of comfort. One out. One out in the inning. That one skips by. How far? He had squared to bunt. Thought we might see a runner scampering down the line with that hitter squared around to bunt, but we didn't. Wearing the bunt, the plate of the plate, the throw, not in time. Well, safety squeeze on a one hop back to the mound, diving in safe at the plate. And by the way, O'Donnell reaches on a fielder's choice, but gets an RBI. Four to two, the score. Now he comes. A little bit more than a safety. I don't know that you call it a suicide, but the moment the bat touched the baseball, he was gone down the line. The pitch dives low to Cannon Tyler. Cannon struck out back in the second inning. This game loaded with Select Festival alum. We talked about it. There are 31 12U alumni playing in this event, 26 11U alumni, 45 13U alums. All of 102 Select Festival alums playing in this event. To the backstop it goes. That's a chance for O'Donnell to move in the scoring position. Four to two. And looking for more. Just one out. 
Your diamonds at Daly Park. Just outside of Houston, Texas. As that one is fouled off. I think we were talking during the 10U game, one of the best parts of, of visiting a city like this with its Texas history and charm. I think Railroad Town are visiting some of the original restaurants. There's a lot of great restaurants that you'll see in cities all over the country, but some real local restaurants here too. That's a fastball over the outside corner. That's strike three. Just two outs. Colton wanted to head back to the dugout. Backwards K in the book. Adams dives that one low and inside. Chantry is his dad. He went to the University of Mary Harden Baylor. Mom is Brandy Adams. She went to Lamar. She's an educator. Dad, a fire protection coordinator. The Colden Adams, those are his parents. As he scuffles against J.J. Nixon. Two and zero, the count. JJ, with a fly ball, center field. That's an easy chance for Kingston George. Two big runs as we move along to the top half of inning number five. Carolina leads South Texas, four to two in the 12U National All State Select Championship. Dangerous hitters in this South Texas lineup. But one does stand out. His name is Leland Hendry. And when you look at this championship game and you think about counting down outs to the title, you just want to make sure you have the possibility to avoid Leland Hendry, but it's got to be perfect for Walker McCrory. In other words, guys like Kingston George and Hurtado, they just want to reach. Bring it on around. Now they have home run power too. First pitch skips to the backstop to Kingston George, who struck out back in the third inning. The select festival star from Winter, Texas. Walter McCrory is his foe. Is that one right down the middle for a strike? off the plate outside. Oh, what a good looking stance, huh? As he comes up empty that time, loads up the back leg. And stiff and strong. Pretty pitch. Pitch was set up maybe a little bit to the inner half, and it split the plate. Hurtado waves at a pitch up and out of the zone. Zarrado strike out back in the third inning, the Cypress, Texas native. We've seen him work on the mound a bit as well. As he fouls that one off. You're literally counting down outs in this one. If you're playing a six-inning game here in the fifth, you're down to, to five outs. Gerardo and Elizabeth, his parents. Hurtado also plays football. Chases that one up and away. Now you're down to four outs. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve strikeouts in this game for Carolina pitching. They're getting closer. 
it's one of those games with just one hit in the game for Carolina, or I should say for South Texas, where it feels like a bigger gap than four to two. And you know that can change, but you're still looking at Leland Henry lurking. Can you face the minimum? If you do face the minimum, you won't have to face Henry. We'll see. That one skips in there to the backstop. Top of the fifth inning of the sixth inning game. Hey, look, both of these teams have put on a show. These all-star teams that have been pulled together from different states and regions, 25 of them in total in the 12U age group. It's been so much fun to watch. What a pretty swing hit hard on a hop, though. Right to the shortstop, J.J. Nixon. Tough break for Nunez. He put a solid bat on ball, but a 6-3 ground out ends it. Three outs away, should they put him away, Carolina leading South Texas in the 12U National All-State Select Championship. Left-handed pitcher as well out of Hockley, Texas. Excited to see him get a chance to step onto this stage and work. It's always fun. It's a great opportunity for these young athletes, no matter the point in the game in which they play. He's a special player. We've enjoyed him. There's a couple of the bats seeing the athleticism, the center field work of Raylan Hunter as well. I see a couple of others, Landon Davis as well this inning, but the southpaw goes to work. Malachi, who is from Hockley, Texas, left-handed hitter as well. Not 12 years old yet, 11 plus 8 when you look at the age. Malachi plays at a ton of PG events, 64th to be exact. Raylan bounces that one to the right side. Good effort, great speed, no chance. Look at Kate Chapman, made a nice play to pull it in, forget it. Out of the left side of the batter's box, Raylan Hunter has his second hit. And he's a big time threat to go. You see Hunter streaking up the line. Alex McBride, the first baseman, had it skip away. They clipped one another, but nothing serious. Now all of a sudden the hands are very full for Malachi Bullock. As he hits the outside corner, strike one. Calvin, 10 strikeouts in this game on the mound. Rolls that one to the middle of the diamond. Steps on the bag. On the first, a double play. Incredible. They were able to pull that off. It's just that Kennedy was able to make the play right on top of the bag. Still an athletic play. A hard hit baseball. Watch this. He's playing close to the bag. Gets right past the pitcher. Played a tough hop. Popped right back up. Stepped on the bag. Used that bag to pivot and throw a strike to the first baseman, Henry. Well, I should say Maddox McBride. And a pretty play. Six, three, double play. Walker McCroy. This Carolina team. They'll deal with James Pratt, Cade Chapman, Caden Kennedy in the next inning. If any of them get on, they'll deal with Boston Targosh. If he gets on, Leland match. Henry gets the hit in a two-run game. Most prolific power hitter at this, the 12U age group, I would imagine in the country that we have seen. Bowed it back to the screen. Walker's had a good day. First of all, he's hopped up on the mound and helped out. He singled in a run back in the first inning, walked and scored a run in the third. He 
fouls that one off a select festival athlete. His dad played junior college baseball. Also played football and baseball in high school. Earned his degree from Clemson. Mom went to South Carolina. Mom's a teacher. She's a good athlete in her own right, playing basketball and volleyball in high school. Expect Walker to be out on the mound and close this thing down if he's able. He's looked good. Hey, it Spoiled hey. a pitch down and away. Malachi Bullock. Bullock is second outing on the mound in this event. One score to sending earlier. Dead Jason, a police officer, played college basketball at Houston Baptist. Mom is Heather. And Bullock. And imagine mom or dad looking on as he fires that one home and it's fouled off. Corey making him work. Eighth pitch of this at bat. Outside corner frozen. Nice statement. Had good defense behind him. That had to feel good for Malachi Bullock. He throws a zero up on the scoreboard. Keeps his team within two. They need base runners. They're down by a pair. The team from South Texas against Carolina at the 12U National All-State Select Championship. Tennessee, Puerto Rico, Pacific Northwest, New England, Alabama, Arizona, California, Chesapeake, Florida. Just to name a few, all represented. These two left standing. And the first pitch from McCrory is a fastball. Representing Carolina over the outside corner for strike one. James Pratt, the batter, fly to center field back in the fourth inning. Pratt again gets some extension, drives that one toward right center field. Good communication. Alvin Maiden Spocker, who was on the mound to strike out nine to open the game. Makes the play for the first out with two outs to go. It was interesting. Pratt flied out in the fourth inning to center field, and it was historic in a sense. It was the first out that was made without a strikeout. He had struck out nine in a row to start the game. Gay Chapman reached on a miscue. Eventually came around to score one of two runs in the fourth inning to tie the game at two. The Porter, Texas native takes a fastball that runs high to Cade. Looking to make it perfect, Carolina. A high strike right around the belt. Two and one the count. Fastball 67 to 71, 72 miles an hour. That one looking for right field. That's down for a base hit. Every base runner is huge, as we told you. Now you need one more base runner to make sure Henry gets to hit. And they all have home run power in their own right, to be clear. Here's Caden Kennedy, select festival athlete. Reached on catcher's interference and also struck out. Kennedy, Targosh, Henry, Landry, Cho, McBride, George, all select festival athletes. The first seven in this order. High fly, ball well struck. Toward the wall and left field it goes. That one is down. Rudder all the way to third. Beautiful extension. This now ensures that we will see Leland Henry hit. Boy, a nice, easy approach. Look at him just drop the bat head on it. It's as if he was just at a driving range hitting a ball off a tee. So confident, easy, two bases with a double. That one is lifted off to the right side. 
Bell Bank. You go to work. Get your hands down and go to work. Yo, read that, that dirt ball, man. One out. Runners on second and third. Tying runs on second and third. Austin waves through that one and comes up empty. Gotta imagine if they can get, and this is a tall task, by the way, getting a select festival athlete in Targosh. If they can get him, that was lifted to the right side. Charging on, making the play, firing toward the plate. The tag. That'll do it. Wow, that'll do it. What a throw from Maiden Spocker in right field. And Carolina wins it. Oh, my goodness. A double play the hard way. And the Carolina Blues celebrate their victorious in the 12U National All-State Select Championship. And Henry didn't get to hit. Who would have thought it would end like that? A great approach with a bat in his hands from Targosh. He drives it to right. Then the hero of this game. That left arm that struck out nine. One hop to the plate. And how about the play that Devine made? Catch, tag, out at the plate. Oh, what a way to end it. My goodness, incredible. Now we celebrate both of these teams. We certainly celebrate Maiden Spocker, who had 10 strikeouts and an outfield assist. Well, thanks for hanging out with us tonight for both the 10U and the 12U game. This has been a lot of fun. Steve Banta leading our production team. They did an incredible job and certainly on site enjoying all that we have enjoyed as well, all that has gone on. It's been a blast. Celebrating baseball at the 12U age group. This event, the National All-State Select Championship, will be back again next week. Of course, Maiden Spocker was incredible. We'll walk you through the strikeouts, all 10 of them in three and two-thirds. There was some help along the way, some timely hitting, too. And it kept going to that left arm. RBIs in the first by McCrory, and then a double by Landon Davis in the third. And in the fourth inning, again, a ball off the glove. That opened up the floodgates a bit. Chapman, who leaned in, would score. Catcher's interference would score another run. Then a little bit of little ball, safe at the plate. All of a sudden, it's tied at two. Then in the fifth inning, a chance to do damage. Double play ends it. Can't do that damage. Fly ball right field. The man who struck out 10 to the plate. Game, set, match. Wow. I can't believe that it ended that way. None of us can. Our production team was great. We'll be back with you next weekend. Don't forget, the 12th day of November, Danny Wexham with the call. It's the 9U, it's the 11U on behalf of our entire production team. My name is Darren Sutton. Celebrate this sport and these young athletes and download the Perfect Game TV app. Have a good week, everyone.